Hi, I don't know about you guys, but I've been plagued with a problem with Windows 10 recently where the Start Menu button becomes inactive. The right click still works, but the left click, nothing happens. And it's really annoying. So I've checked many solutions on the web. A lot of them are incredibly complicated, take a lot of time. And given that this has happened three times to me so far, for no apparent reason, no particular upgrades have happened, anything like that, I can't be going through a complicated process. Um, there was a simple one which involved uh, going into your MS config file, starting a uh, safe mode with, uh, network, booting up, disabling, going back and booting, and apparently this restored it, but this did not work for me, sadly, otherwise that would have been my method of choice. However, one thing that most of these solutions did seem to say was that it seemed to be something to do with your profile. And so a lot of them said, create a new profile. So if you go into this button here, all settings, accounts, slide down, add a Microsoft, uh, add a work or school account. Um, that's great, but my problem with that is if I create another account, um, a lot of my programs are tied specifically to an account and I have to actually reinstall them, which is really irritating because I've got a lot of, lot of um, programs. I've also got, uh, you know, custom setups on them. So to get myself back to where I was would take probably a couple of hours, which is crazy. So given that it did seem to be something linked to the profiles, what I would recommend you do, or this is what worked for me, is create another profile. So for example, this is the profile that I'm in currently, which is actually corrupted and the start button doesn't work. This is a backup account I created where the start button does work. So it actually becomes quite simple from this point forward. So to show you what I mean, if you open Explorer, C drive, users, and then you go to the um, one that works, which in this case is user. Now and bear in mind, you need to make sure that you've got, click on view, make sure hidden items are shown, otherwise you won't see the folder app data app data, local, and then tile data layer and database. Now these are the files that hold the menu off the start button. So what you want to do is copy these and put them somewhere where you can get hold of them when you go into the other profile. So copy and what I did was I put them on my network drive. I've got a computer problems folder because this is so common and I pasted them there. So this is my like default set that always work and they'll just stay there. Now, the other thing to remember is you can't overwrite these files whilst you're logged in to the profile that isn't working because it locks the files um, and there's you just can't get around it. So the easy thing to do is remember your right click still works. So right click, shut down or sign out. You don't wanna shut down, you wanna sign out. So you sign out of that. Now, and I'm not gonna do it because my screen recorder will stop working. But so pretend for the moment I've clicked sign out. You'll be back to your login screen so what you want to do, obviously, is then log in as the other profile that you've created, the one that actually works, and navigate to where you've put the backup, which in my case was on the network drive. It could be anywhere, as long as you can find it without having to um, bypass security or anything like that. And then once you've got these, get the whole lot, copy, and then just go down to Users, and then to the profile that is corrupted, which in my case was Steve, app data, local, tile data layer, database. Now I've already done this by the way, so I'm not gonna do it again. Delete, um, and then basically paste the new ones in there. Then you do the same thing, the opposite way around, sign out, and then sign back into the profile that was the one where the start menu didn't work. And when you then click the start button, as I'm doing here, it's all back, it's fine. To move this on further, I would suggest that while it's working, get your start menu arranged exactly how you want it with everything in the right place. And then sign out, go to the other profile, copy across the database from the one that now works as a backup. And then you've got a better base to start from. It means you're not gonna keep rebuilding it from a default every single time. But that worked for me. I hope that made some sense. Um, any questions, put in the comments. Um, and I hope it was useful because it's been driving me nuts for the last uh, two or three weeks now.